Welcome to Learning Lad and in this video we will see how we can set up the Visual Studio code for writing and executing the C++ programs. In order to continue with this video, you need to install C and C++ toolset. For that in Windows you can install MinGW and then you need to download and install Visual Studio code. I have already made two separate videos explaining how you can install these two programs and I have explained everything step by step. I'm going to put the link of those videos in the description box and also I'm going to add a card. So if you don't have these programs installed then you can watch those videos, install them and then you can continue with this video. So now first let us open up the Visual Studio code. You can click on the start button and you can find the Visual Studio code shortcut. Click on it to open Visual Studio code. It will take you to the welcome screen. Now here uh, in the left hand side you can see extensions. Just click on it to expand it. And here we need to install a couple of extensions. One is the C and C++ extension. You can search for it or uh, it will uh, appear in this uh, extensions list automatically. It is appearing here but I am going to search for it. C, C++ and here make sure that you are installing the extension developed by Microsoft. So this first result, I'm going to click on it. Now we need to click on this install to install this C, C++ extension. Uh, it provides the language support for C and C++ to Visual Studio Code. Uh, it includes some features like IntelliSense and debugging. Wait for the extension to install completely. In the bottom right, you can see the steps happening. Wait for it to completely install. Okay, now this extension has been uh, installed completely. Now let us install one more extension and the extension that we have to install is called as Code Runner. This extension will help you to run C and C++ program easily just by clicking on a single button. Here you have to search for Code Runner and you can see the first option. Click on it and install this extension by clicking on that install option and wait for the installation to finish. Okay, now this extension has been installed and it has been enabled globally. Now what we can do is we can uh, uh, restart the Visual Studio code. So I'm going to close it and I'm going to open it up again. Okay, now we are back in the welcome screen. Now let us set up the workspace. So the first thing that we do is we will uh, add a folder to our workspace and here click on the file button and go to add folder to workspace click on that you can create a folder anywhere in your file system and you can add that to workspace here i'm going to create that in my uh, desktop i'm going to create a new folder in here new folder and i'm going to call it as c c++ and after that i'm going to select the folder and i'm going to add it Okay, now you guys can see here the folder that we have created is uh, displayed in here. Now whenever we create a file inside this folder it will be there. Now if you want you can save the workspace. For that you have to go to file and click on save workspace as and you can give a name. Um, let us say I'm going to save this workspace in my desktop and I'm going to call it as C CPP programming and click on save. So now you guys can see we have the CCPP programming workspace and inside that workspace we have this folder CC++. Okay. Now let us create a file inside this folder CC++. So select this folder and then click on this uh, new file option and give a name for your file. So let us say test.c Okay, now, uh, you know, we have opened this test.c file in here. Let me create a simple program. Okay, now here I have written a very simple program. If you are a beginner, if you are uh, watching this as part of my C and C++ video series, then you don't have to write this program. Just make the settings that I tell you to make. Okay, now here I have written the program. Now in order to run this program, I have uh, some options. Like I can click on this uh, run code button or I can uh, use the shortcut control alt n or I can right click here and I can click on run code and when I do that here in the output tab you can see the output 
which is hello world uh, it is okay but the problem is in your program if you have to take an input from the user then from this output tab we can't really provide the input that's because this output tab is read only just to demonstrate that i'm gonna make this program to take some user input okay now i have uh, modified this program to take some user input if you don't understand the c language then it's okay now if i try to run this code then as you guys can see it is not working here in this output tab because it is read only and in this program i'm trying to take some user input and since this output tab is read only it's not working so we need to have a solution for this one so i'm gonna stop this by pressing alt ctrl em and the setting that we have to make is uh, you need to click on file and you have to go to preferences and you need to select settings and here you need to click on extensions and if you scroll down then you guys can see run code configuration click on that and again scroll down and here you need to check run in terminal so check this one and after that press ctrl s save it and close the settings okay now come back to the code and right click run code now the code will run in the terminal and it says enter age i'm gonna say 30 and it says age is 30. so if you are a beginner if you don't know how to write this program or if you don't understand this program then it's okay just follow that um, setting that i have told you to make that is uh, make sure that run in terminal checkbox is selected so you don't have to write this code in your um, editor and you have to try it just to demonstrate this why we have to make that change i just you know wrote this code and uh, explained it so this is it guys for this video uh, if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then uh, write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video